Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Con Air movie thoughts. I hadn't really thought about it before this viewing, but I guess this does kind of qualify as a die-hard clone with, you know, one guy, you know, against a group of guys, you know, kind of hiding and trying to stop them from, yeah. Now, to, to get the, the obvious out of the way, yes, I have watched the recent crack video, crack video where they point out that it's conservative propaganda. No, I don't really have any counter-arguments, and yes, that's frustrating, but it's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than that to make me not love this movie. And besides, a lot of action movies are, you know, do have very conservative, you know, values as they do, you know, Big Hollywood action flakes, very bland way, like to use negative stereotypes, and conservatives tend to spread those like herpes. And just, yeah, you know, who would you rather see, you know, fight? Someone who's, you know, at least one of the following poor, angry, ethnic, crazy. Or a smarmy businessman who doesn't pay taxes and abuses his workers, you know. Do you want something careful, precise, that goes exactly as planned? Or do you want something loud that explodes and destroys a lot, even if it does also end up working? You know, diplomacy or war, you know, there are liberal messages in some action movies, but they do tend to end up feeling very preachy with those elements really sticking out. Now, the in the crack video, they seem to they they seem unsure why Buscemi made it, and you know they do bring up well he didn't kill that last girl, but he killed a lot of other girls. But that is a very you know, conservative Christian message, though, redeeming oneself, just, you know, the one good act, and especially, he sings this Christian song on the plane, so, you know, that's not like a deathbed conversion, and, yeah, that's, that's very conservative, and I don't know if that's what they meant to say, but it's what I take from it, anyway, and, you know, I love the Colmini's sports car, you know, at first we just see, you know, him drive up in it and say, you know, this this is spectacular, and, you know, he drives off before, you know, without particularly talking to them, and, you know, then, you know, Cusack has to try to make it to the, you know, what was it, Learner Airfield, I think, and, you know, the, the other guys, like, were there are no planes left, you know, I have to be there in like 50 minutes. If you've got a fast car, you can make it, and you know, that's that's what QTAC said, 49 minutes away from something that even smells like, what's it called? Yeah, government or law enforcement, something like that, you know, and, and that poor guy who, you know, gets out of his plane, you know, what is your problem? And then he sees, you know, these guys being beaten up and, you know, guns, and then he runs off and he, you know, Malkovich, I hope he likes sand, you know, and then after they take off, you know, they fly over and we see the, that guy still running. <laughs> yeah, you know, 50 minutes in, you know, souped up sports car. Yeah, that's going to take a long time running on foot. You know, and yeah, so so Cusack grabs it to, you know, to make it there, and then you know he he parks it somewhere that so it's inconspicuous. You know, Poe ties up the you know, yeah, put puts the 
you know, the, the rope around the, the post. Malkovich manages to, to shoot that apart. And the, what's it, the, the hook goes under the car and pulls it after them into the air and they're flying with that thing, you know, and Mr. Friendly is like, you know, we gotta get, you know, what was it, gotta keep our nose up, something like that. And he flies the car into the, you know, what was it, the, the radio control tower or something, and the car goes flying, you know, and they're just staying there looking at it, you know, what one little step and smashes, you know, and, and before that it's like, isn't that your car? Couldn't be. I parked it back at the office, you know, and it crashes and, you know, checks the license plate, which is all bent up, you know, once this is done, you're, you know, once this is through, you're through. So are you, something like that, you know, it's just, yeah, a lot of fun. And then at the, at the very end, it's this, you know, he apologizes for it and is, eh, you know, I was bored with it anyway. You know, I, I, I know a good garage up in Fresno, you know, it's a good, a good shop, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Dude would have to be good in order to fix that thing, after all that, yeah. Now, I love how Malkovich just dies one time after another there at the end. You know, I, I saw online where someone said it was four times. It's at least three. You know, he he gets smashed into the, the over thing, you know, when he's, you know, I love that Poe, you know, cuffs him to the, the yeah, the, the ladder on the fire truck and he smashes in to this overhead thing you know the impact there alone should have killed him maybe the glass should have killed him one you know another time over then he gets electrocuted on the power lines and then he gets his head smashed in by this giant thing that like, like in the crack video, I have no idea what that thing is I think they just wrote I agree they just wrote that so that you know he could die in a cool and memorable way you know and and we see the little twitch from his legs you know and yeah that that does get it to four or if that other person wasn't talking about the glass maybe you know the the crash of the plane itself you know and love the shot where he like shoves out the the thing I guess it's like one of the you know what's it called you know backup exits you know fire exits or whatever and you know crawls out there and a couple of guys go with him and they end up in the fire truck you know and you know Malkovich trying to get at Poe with the you know the the hook thing from I think from the fire truck itself you know Poe grabs it breaks it in half you know br breaks it against the ladder and jams it right through Malkovich's ankle and he's like screaming and he pulls it out and he's somehow still standing and you know they fight atop the you know and you have that exchange first Malkovich says you know the last thing little Casey will smell will be my stinking breath you are never getting close to my daughter ever you know and cuffs him and yeah, and he and Cusack go, you know, they, they double team on, on the truck with Cusack going after, the, you know, does your gun work? Yeah, so shoot this SOB, you know, and he's like, you know, pull over, sure, how about this, you know, just, the Swamp Thing is freaking crazy, you know, I, I love the that's right exchange between him and Dave Chappelle as well, and, you know, the... Yeah, you know, so so the one way that, you know, after, I guess, Malkovich, yeah, ha after he, you know, uses the, the hose to get those couple of cops, you know, sprayed off their, you know, th their motorcycles, I'm not even sure I knew that there were cops there as well, I just saw, you know, the, the two protagonists, you know, yeah. The two names get on motorcycles, but but yeah, whatever. And you know, after that, when with Malkovich, you know, up there, Cusack grabs the the hose and sprays down into the the you know 
the front seat. That should stop him, you know. And I love there's this one little bit where Swamp Thing, you know, he doesn't stop the car. He doesn't pull over or anything. He just uses his, you know, his, his underarm to, yeah, whatever, to, you know, wipe away some of the, the water so he can still see where he's going. You know, that's, wow. Now, and, you know, of course, love the put the bunny, put the bunny back in the box. Whole thing, and, and the ongoing thing with the bunny, you know, make a move and the bunny gets it, you know, and, and I love that right after that, actually, yeah, just briefly on the, more on the bunny, you know, and we see it, like, go into the rain, as, oh, and just barely he manages to grab it, you know, and you, you notice there's a cut there, because obviously that rabbit was actually gone in there, you know, and then they had, you know, they, they put one in Cage's hand and went in and started filming, and then he pulled it out, you know, pulling the, the rabbit out of the sewer, as it were. And it also gets distinctly more dry by the time he hands it to Casey. But yeah, also, well, the, I meant to get a haircut, you know, and her gradually accepting him, and just, this kid's a great actor. Just, yeah, really, really does well. But, but yeah, make a move and the bunny gets it, and then the attack choppers show up, you know, and start firing this, you know, machine gun in there, and it's ridiculous that, that Malkovich doesn't get hit, and he stands there and he fires back with his handgun as if that's gonna help against, you know, and then, you know, assault rifle and still just, dude, not gonna happen, you know, now, the... And I love pretty much every, you know, detail of the whole Las Vegas strip, you know, just, yeah, you know, we've got one engine out, another leaking, the the strips where I'm going to land, where, where we're going to land, only the word is crash, you know, and he puts on the helmet. And, you know, they, they take off the top of the Hard Rock Cafe guitar and... You know, will will the owner of the white white Corvette please move the vehicle? You know, and crash into, and you know, one of the propellers goes flying through and separates Malkovich and Cage. That might also be one of the four deaths that you know, were being referred to. And just you know, and and then you know the the. The fire truck, I think it is, crashes into the money transport, and everybody goes nuts and starts grabbing one. They're in Las Vegas. They're probably there to get more money, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's only like the owners of places and such that wouldn't really care that, that you know, have enough money that they don't have to worry about. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the plane crashes into one of the, what's it called? you know, one, one armed man, you know, the slot machine thing. And, you know, and gives a huge jackpot. My theory on how, you know, Buscemi made it was that he picks up that jackpot and then, you know, gets a nice suit or something and, you know, says, and yeah, I'll bet he does feel lucky. Now, I think that was about what I had for Las Vegas. For the conservative messages in this, I do think that it's noteworthy that the people who hate and mistreat the cons are the ones who help them escape the most. You know, the while the characters who have sympathy for at least some of the people on that plane actually help solve these problems that I mean when when you look at it the Larkin is the, the person who comes the closest you know he he actually goes to investigate the you know Cyrus's what's it called the the you know, the, the cell, and he insists that Sims shouldn't bring a gun. The gun may, you know, just meant that they got two guns up there, and it got 
you know, the DEA agent killed. And the, you know, although it did serve to endear <laughs> Poe with, you know, Cyrus, not only did you not save this dude's life, you just made best friends with Cyrus the virus, you know. And, yeah, it's, he's, you know, he's the one who, you know, he actually tells them, the, the transponder, there's something wrong there, they're headed for Lerner Airfield, you know, and him getting to Lerner Airfield, again, really helps a lot. Meanwhile, the others are chasing Bob's scene tours, you know, and the, you know, the, the one thing where you could talk about is, you know, if, if they had shot it down over, you know, the, the desert and the mountains, it would not have caused the, as much collateral damage, although we don't really see particularly many people die there at the end, except, you know, a few of the cons. I love how Danny Trejo's arm is still hanging there, you know, and and his take out with you know don't treat women like that you know and she also gets to kick him and yeah and baby oh he's lying there he's you know practically a goner and he's actually still you know trying to stop him that's that's badass and the but but yeah you know Malloy I think is his name he's you know, yeah, he, he gets out the attack choppers and he he's certain that nothing good can come, you know, can happen above, you know, in in the plane itself. And it's it's the boomer will live kind of thing. Yeah, sure, a lot of people got him. You know, all of these people, the the you know, all all the, the military, I guess, guys who, you know, went you know, the, the bit where they're in ambush, that's that got a lot of people killed. But the important thing is, our good guy survived and got to be, you know, that's again, like, like I said in the review itself, basically, both, you know, both the wife and the daughter are there for sympathy. You know, if not, we might not care about whether or not Poe makes it out alive, or at least not care enough. And... Yeah, you know, all this where we see, you know, actually, you know, people who really don't deserve it be killed and, yeah, you know, the, the kinds of things that, you know, yeah, some, some of the brutal things that Poe does to the convicts, you know, would not seem as... <laughs> okay which you know again by today we are used to the the good guys being much more anti-heroes and getting to do a lot more brutal things to yeah now the, but yeah and you know obviously this is also saying that you know that convicts deserve the worst we can do to them because if given the chance they will you know kill and rape and just you know be absolutely horrible and yeah you know it's 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 this it's again this thing of without really meaning to the movie also you know yeah obviously I don't obviously, I am very liberal about as liberal as you get and yeah I sincerely disagree I don't believe that there's I believe that there's such a thing as evil actions I do not believe in evil people people choose between good and evil actions sometimes they're forced to choose the evil action sometimes it's the lesser evil but no one is truly some people have a warped sense to where they see you know they might do something really awful to protect themselves but this is still not really evil using evil about people is a it just 
it's not very useful. It, it muddies up the issue. It's more about when someone, you know, someone might do one evil action, or someone might do tons of evil actions. It's about, you know, preventing and maybe punishing the, you know, the, the more evil actions, but the idea that there are evil people is what has, you know, is what leads to recidivism. As soon as they get back out, they just go right back in because they've been mistreated so much and once they're out, they're not going to get jobs because people don't trust them. You know, when they're in prison, they're not getting rehabilitated, they're just being punished. And that doesn't, I understand the, the urge to just punish them, to do the worst you can to them, but if you actually want for society to thrive, it would make much more sense to rehabilitate them. You know, in this we see Poe learn Spanish and, yeah, you know, and, and keep in, you know, keep a prime physique and such, you know, he is, you know, he's not letting it get to him too much, you know, he is getting, yeah, he's improving himself in some ways and yeah, so when, and, and another problem with the idea of evil people is that we might not learn from those evil actions because for a while after World War II, some people insisted that the German, the German people was an evil people, and that was the same thing after World War I. And after World War I, Germany was unduly punished. They, they were supposed to pay for the damage they did to these other countries, several other big countries. That's, you know, it makes no sense to expect. And yeah, it made it very easy for Hitler to say, look at all these other countries, you know, just sucking all the money out of us, making, you know, making it impossible for us to get by. And then after World War II, there was, I believe, the, it was called the Marshall Help, and Germany rebuilt. And funnily enough, there have not been problems with Germany and German Nazis since Germany is now a major ally to, you know, the U.S. and the West in general, and actually are very dependable for a number of resources. So, yeah, when, you know, the Holocaust and starting World War II were evil actions, but, and, and Adolf Hitler did a lot of evil actions, but at the end of the day, on some level, he, he thought that, you know, it, my friend James Ushcroft, you James 1978, uh, phrases it, every, everyone is the hero of their own story, and that's very much the case. Now, anyway, yes, so while the movie is saying that you know, these these convicts deserve the worst we can give them, the worst we can do to them, it does at the same time, probably unintentionally, show that some of the problems come from the way they, you know, if, for example, the, you know, the, the gun, you know, that the, the pilot has turns out to be the, you know, what Cyrus uses to take over the plane, and then once they land and have to fight, they arm each other with, you know, among other things, that shotgun that, when tossed through the air, magically turns into an assault rifle. Actually, yeah, it's probably just a cut to show several people being armed. It's still interesting of a cut, but, yeah, the, yeah, you know, all of those guns just help the convicts once that, you know, to, so to put them in this situation where people are brutal towards them, they become brutal and you give them the means to, you know, yeah. And the, yeah, and, and you also see it doesn't solve the problem. None of these people at all, you know, 
regret what they've done. You know, Baby O is like the, the only one, and then, you know, he goes all atheist all of a sudden, and then Poe has to prove to him, you know, by, you know, walking through and, you know, showing that, you know, that's, that's just, that's the way, you know, conservatives are so angry at, at atheists. Obviously, all that's necessary is for atheists, you know, us atheists, be close to people who are in difficult situations and need, you know, need some kind of motivation to go and do the badass thing and, you know, rescue people and such. You know, it just needs someone to go and say, you know, I, I'm an atheist, so okay then, I'm going to go punch people and just, yeah. And the... But, but yeah, you know, none of these people actually mean to, so the moment that they're not under guard, they're doing these awful things. I don't know if conservatives are going to say, see, that's why we need to keep them under guard. But, you know, at the same time, you have someone like Baby o. We don't know what he did, but he's in there for a long time. And, yeah, now the, I do also like the, the details of, the, the escape, you know, with the, the little needle thing, you know, that he hid. And that's also just psycho that he managed, managed to shove that down there. You know, that is real disregard for one's own pain and, and such. And, you know, Chappelle managed to hide because, you know, his breath stinks. And so he pulls out, you know, and it's like, you know, to, to the, the Native American, you know, if you make it, I hope you'll forgive me. And, you know, he has this little bag and, you know, squirts it. And that's, of course, some, you know, flammable. And he, you know, lights the match. And he has to hold his hand like this. And, you know, just, yeah. And then he's, you know, shouting all these real racist things about the Native Americans. They're really, really funny. And so, you know, culturally insensitive and politically incorrect. But, yeah, and in closing, briefly, please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.